Hello and welcome to The Long View with me, John Jordan. As you can see, we are firing up Total War King's Return for a first time user experience video. This is where we play a mobile game for the first time and go through the onboard process. So uh, Total War, uh, obviously a Sega franchise has been for a while created by um, Creative Assembly in the UK. Um, but interestingly, this game, um, which has been licensed from Sega, is from um, Chinese company Elex Wireless. Um, so we're straight into the game, which is really good. So n nothing to get in the way of us getting into the game. So let's go through the kind of uh, first few minutes of the tutorial. So the enemies outside of wall have been killed. Let's continue the fatal strike. Yeah, okay, let's do that. So what we got here, tapping on the shield, tapping on occupy, and then we're marching. So these are our troops. Obviously this is a tutorial, so everything's set up. So there's a big guy marching along following those little yellow uh, yellow little green feet and there we go mm. our enemies have been caught the people are cheering for victory in constantinople okay is this supposed to be constantinople it looks a bit like constantinople geographically crossing the golden horn okay so obviously this is a ooh that's a bit gory um obviously we are building a base and we are attacking other people. So we need to train some cavalry who have high mobility. Okay, so we're going to go into barracks probably. It's nice the way that's the stables there. So it's nice the way it kind of drew you in there with the um, little box around it. So we're going to train. There we go, it takes a bit of time we're training some scouts. It looks like the scouts are ready to go. We need to rebuild the watchtower. Where's the watchtower? It's going to Show us where it is in there, okay. Build. There's a lovely watchtower going up. That was quick, wasn't it? Alarm, enemy outside the gate. So we can see red flash around the outside. This is all looking good. So what am I doing here? I'm going to the world, okay. Garrison the fort. Oh, so there's some enemies. There's, um, please allow the soldiers in the fort to join our army, okay. Recruit. Well, wow, it's a lot of enemies. So, okay, bring the victorious soldier back to the city. Going back to the home, the city, my legion. Okay, that wasn't. <laughs> it was a pretty quick battle. Um, technology, two troops marched at the same time. That's good. So, what am I going in? Researching in the college, researching military. So, here's a tech tree. It's going to take three seconds. You can see, obviously, it's going to take longer later on in the game. Um, okay, do quests, game rewards, often the case. Build a farm. Leveled up, that's good. It was on that in the tutorial. So, getting some resources. Next tip upgrade the castle to level 2. Here's our castle. See the requirements. So, we need the walls need to be a certain level, there's different kind of staging you have to do, certain buildings have to be a certain level to upgrade other buildings, obviously you need some resources as well, it's going to take three seconds, free it says there, castle has been built, everything's popping up, fireworks, what's this lady doing, world, build a fort, okay, build a, not yet garrison, going to build a cavalry fort then, okay, it looks like that's happened, Let's go back to home upgrade castle collecting my rewards actually no, she's still bouncing up and down oh so got some rewards there okay now what do I do quests are uh have I built I haven't built any sawmills have I it's a bit odd okay Let's come back out of that. Level up again. Good. A little Facebook share button there. Almost pressed on it. Upgrade my barracks to level two. Where are my barracks? There we go. It shows me. So again, can upgrade that because my castle's upgraded. Do it for free. Make it speed it up. Then I can get some more rewards. So we can see uh, how this game is playing out. So in a very um, simplified way, I guess, having only played it for a few minutes, we could say this is this is. Um, game of War meets um, uh, Total War, really, isn't it? Oh, so Game of War is the uh, 
the most successful game in what we call this kind of 4x kind of mobile free to play scenario where you have this base um, where you can't place anything you're just leveling up and then you're leveling up different buildings so then unlock different things in the unit in the, your kind of army in your units and then you're going out and attacking people in the world the big thing that makes game of war um, so popular is the alliance structure so we've not had anything popping up to tell us about alliances yet we can see there are alliances in the bottom on the bottom of the screen there alliances are very strong ways of keeping people engaged in games and more importantly for the developer spending in games um, so what, what's this so we see our builders are asleep the little X's coming up I don't know what those ones are um, so it's telling me uh, I'm trying to persuade me to spend some money um, did I do another quest, train 10 militia, let's go do that then. So, uh, there's a little slide, I can slide it up and down, can I? Yeah, but it obviously depends how much food I've got to um, spend. It's train 11. It's going to take three minutes. I can collect rewards already. Yep, okay. Mm, upgrade the walls. Again, at the start of this game, there's quite a lot of different... Um, things to be doing and you're basically just tapping on stuff and getting rewards you're not really into the main bit of the game at all it just gives you a very um, happy experience where you're just tapping on things and things are immediately upgrading which is not how the um, game will uh, play out so let's upgrade the castle again let's do the last thing so we see or we can do all that this is going to take that's oh, going to take three minutes um, but i can do it for free there we go barbarians took the manor in the rural area and a cutter in coming to retake manor so we can see how the narrative's going um, So this big guy's going to march over there. The one thing I did think, I did think there would be more battles. So I thought when you actually went to a battle, instead of having this playing out, you'd actually have a... Um, it looks like there are screenshots where you actually do have a more, what we might think of a total war situation, where you're controlling different types of um, troops. Obviously this is using the total war brand, but it's not, um, not really at the moment taking much of the total war um, gameplay, at least. Collecting all these rewards for things um, that I haven't done, I think, because I should point out this game is in soft launch, so soft launch means it's being tested at the moment. So it came out um, about a month ago. It's testing in about eight different countries. Um, so some Scandinavian ones. I got this from the Swedish app store. It's also in the um, Danish app store, um, and a few places in the Middle East. So Egypt, Philippines, India, Pakistan, Indonesia. So a few places where they're trying out to see what the market thinks about it, what players are doing in there, if there's difference between different um, countries. Let's go and check, check our um, messages. What's about here? The studio is saying the Crumb Legion will attack soon. Okay, don't know who they are. And the system is saying Irene. Is Irene is telling me to activate VIP? Oh, she's Irene. Oh, okay. So I can, um, the VIP system, if I activate it, I get it for 60 minutes. Don't think I'll do that right now. So there we go. Um, I have to say, pleasantly surprised, really quick into the game. Um, in terms of gameplay, very much like a game of war. There's kind of quite a lot of um, games of this ilk at the moment. I wouldn't say I'm the biggest fan of them. Um, I find them a little bit um, uh, dull, really, I think is the, is, the, is the term, just to kind of tapping on stuff. Um, but that's not to say they are not incredibly successful because they are. Um, I think as the game goes on, maybe there'll be a few more interesting things to do. I quite like the graphics on this. It's nice. Buying my Facebook account to win treasure. Yeah. And it seems to have all the um, all the hooks you'd want. Oh, that's nice. What are they doing? Training, are they? What's this one do? Ah, so this is, looks like a bit more formations and such like that might looks like it might be a bit more interesting anyway that's enough now the point of the first time user experience is just to have a quick kind of dash through the first 10 minutes um, as I say this is in soft launch not quite sure when it's going to be globally um, released normally games are in soft launch for two or three months so um, hopefully it will come out quite soon um, thanks for watching so the long view is about us playing free to play mobile games um, for as long as we can uh, doing videos about the things we like and um, sometimes the things we don't like as well um, so don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you again soon